In this video, I'll show you how to quickly and easily change faces in a video using Filmora 10. Keep watching. Welcome back to Filmora MVP channel. In this channel, we teach you the latest editing tips, camera tricks, and filmmaking techniques. Using filters on social media platforms like Snapchat and Instagram to swap faces has been extremely popular recently. You can also replace faces with funny images or text to add some humor to your video. So today I'm going to show you two easy ways to change faces in a video using Filmora 10. Ready? Let's go! The first way to change faces in a video uses the Face Off tool. First, you'll need to have the Filmora 10 installed on your computer. If you haven't done this already, Click the link in the description to get started. Next, add your video files to Filmora 10. Click Import in the Media Library, select the video files you want to work on, and add them to the program. You can drag and drop files as well. Filmora 10 supports almost all video formats out there, so you don't need to worry about compatibility issues. Next. Drag your video clips to the timeline. Select the clip that you want to work on and then go to the Effects tab. Click Utility and you'll find various effects such as Face Off, Shape Mask, Mosaic, and Tilt Shift. Drag and drop the Face Off effect to the timeline just above your video. Drag the edge of the Face Off effect to adjust its duration. For example, let's say you want to hide a face for the first one minute of your video and reveal it after that. To do this, drag the edge of the face off effect to the one minute point in the timeline. You'll see that the face off effect covers the face for the first minute of your video and then disappears after that. This tool covers faces with the mosaic preset face by default, but there are many preset faces for you to choose from. Double click the face off effect in the timeline to access the list of preset faces. There's a happy face, sad face, angry face, animal faces, and more. Select the preset face that you want to use and click OK. Filmora 10 will immediately place it on top of the faces that it detects in your video. Now it's time to play your video in the preview window. You'll notice that Filmora 10 automatically tracks both the movement and size of the original face to make sure the new face matches perfectly. Isn't that amazing? When you're satisfied with the video, make sure you save it. Click on File and Save Project. Then enter the name of your project and hit Save. To export your video, click on the Export button. You'll find the option to export it locally or to a specific device. You can also export your masterpiece to YouTube and Vimeo directly or burn your video to a DVD. The second way to change faces in a video uses the motion tracking tool. It takes a few more steps than the face off tool, but it's well worth the effort because it allows you to replace faces with any image of your choice. First, import your video clips and drag them to the timeline. Now it's time to start tracking a face in the video. Keep in mind that the tracking will start wherever your playhead is. It won't track anything before it. So if you want to start tracking a face at the beginning of the video, make sure your playhead is at the beginning of the clip. To start the motion tracking tool, double click the clip and select motion tracking. Alternatively, you can click on the motion tracking icon in the editing menu right above the timeline. Then, the tracking box will appear in the preview window. Move and resize it to select the face you want to track. Click the Start Tracking button and Filmora will analyze your footage. Once the analysis completes, it's time to add the image you want to overlay over the tracked face. Click on the drop-down menu and select Import from Computer. Once you've imported the image, you'll see it in the preview window. Place the image over the tracked face and then click OK to continue.
click the play button in the preview window. You'll see that Filmora 10 replaces the face with the image. When you're happy with the results, save and export the video. Using Filmora 10's face-off and motion tracking tools makes it so quick and easy to change faces in a video. Now that you know how to use these tools, I bet you're itching to try it yourself. Let me know in the comments if you're planning on using the face-off tool or motion tracking tool to change faces in your video. It's always awesome to hear about all the cool edits that you make to your videos. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to get the latest editing tips, camera tricks, and filmmaking techniques. Keep creating, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!